Yes, I, I am. I think that's what's going on here. Paroxetine 20. You know what what psych meds? Yeah. That's, uh, well, my personal opinion is that that's a m medical matter and we and, have no and opinion my fear on is, outside issues. Well, but my fear is you're on some addictive meds like clonopin or something like that. And that's what makes it very difficult or impossible to engage in the program of recovery. That's, my, that's what, what I is hear. That? It's a, it's the drug that the, the shooter in Las Vegas was taking, the relative of that. It's a benzodiazepine. It's the hidden epidemic in this country. People are being prescribed those medicines hand over fist, and it's you can't get sober on those meds. It, it, it keeps your disease active. What is the uh, is explicit reason for its prescription? Sleep, anxiety. I mean, I'm fearful that our mother up here would get prescribed that. That's why I was sort of, mm. <laughs> What? You're on it? Yeah, it's it's it, it, let me let me give a, a little sidebar. Every prescription opioid death in this country includes a prescription of a benzodiazepine. It is the hidden epidemic. It is a really big problem. And I feel like I don't know, and I'm, I don't mean to. This, I'm not singling you out, but my feeling is, it, it, you know, because people can't get fully engaged, they feel alienated from their peers. They can't get engaged in their program. And they don't know, they don't understand why it's happening to them because the doctor doesn't go, oh, by the way, this is an addictive medicine and it can block your emotional systems. It's bad. It's a problem. And I'm an anathema. I'm an evil person for saying that in the psychiatric community. They would say that, that I'm unenlightened, I don't understand how to take care of psychiatric patients. And I, I, I'm the same person that was vilified for saying when uh, Heath Ledger died that we were going to see a tsunami of opiate deaths. I, I have a... I just found a footage of me and Larry King in 2002 or whatever it was going, this is the beginning, here it comes. And everyone just absolutely vilified me for that, but uh, now we're in the middle of it. I'm here to tell you the same thing about the benzodiazepines. I have no reason to say it. I, have no, I don't believe there is such a thing as a good drug and a bad drug, a, an evil drug and an angelic drug. There's just molecules and the human relationship with them and the consequences. All right, next question. Am I saying something?